pretty lights Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake all right good morning youtube welcome back once again to the mickelson racing channel this morning is very exciting uh, it's about 6 30 this morning and um, i'm just leaving my house here one-handed so sorry about the camera quality but uh i am gonna go out and get my pickup my 1968 chevy pickup hook it up to my trailer and then we are going to go on a little road trip today um, excuse me another minute here oh man we're gonna go on another road trip a big one the biggest road trip I've ever been on with my old Chevy pickup here so we're gonna get in there hook up the trailer the open trailer and we're gonna go drive 250 miles in it, which is a lot because I built the engine for this pickup in 2011 and I've only ever put 200 miles on it since then. It's now 2019. So that's eight years I've put 200 miles on it and today we're gonna go put 250 miles on it all at once. Um, am I crazy? Probably. But that's what we're gonna do um, we're gonna go get a new race rig and so we're gonna go show up to this place look at a new race rig <clears throat> and um, if I like it then I'll take my Chevy and I'll put it on the trailer that we're pulling down there and then we'll pull it home with the new race rig and by this I mean a new uh, a new hauler a new diesel pickup to haul my race car trailer and my race car all over the place with. Um, that's what I mean by race rig. So, I'm pretty excited. Um, it's been a few years since I've had a decent race rig. I used to use a motorhome with my open trailer. Uh, and not a nice motorhome by any means. But it, it worked and uh, it, was, it was decent. Um, but now I got this new bigger enclosed trailer and uh, the old motorhome wasn't going to do her. So I sold it, sold the motorhome and uh, then I was without, without a vehicle and I was going to use my old Chevy but I, I don't think that was such a great idea. So we're going to put the kibosh on that and we're going to go get ourselves a new race rig here. And uh, yeah, that'll be that. So I'm coming up on the storage unit here. And we're gonna get the pickup out, get hooked up to the trailer, and start in on this 250 mile cruise. I hope it all goes well, I really do. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch back with you guys later. All right guys, I got the pickup hooked up to the trailer. I've got it out came back to the house quick I gotta grab a couple things and um, we're ready to hit the road um, it's a little bit before seven o'clock and we're ready to take off which is what my goal was so 250 mile road trip for me and my old Chevrolet um, 454 it's got uh, the cam in it some head work uh, headers and then um, 4L ADE transmission we got fast EFI and a fast EZ TCU and we're gonna tow this 1800 pound trailer 250 miles today um, so anyway I'm gonna throw a couple things in the box like a jack and a tire iron and some tools uh, and then we'll hit the road so we'll keep up with you guys later as I'm moving along hey what's up guys um, I made it back to town uh, I'm just outside of town here about a half a mile <clears throat> and it went no issues so other than driving through the Minneapolis rush hour traffic with no trailer lights which was a lot of fun uh, the trip went really smoothly uh, there's really nothing that bad I can say about it uh, so I'm gonna get home I think I'm gonna park this tonight on the street and then tomorrow I'll go out to the lot and I'll unload it all and uh, 
I'll get ready and then I'll take a, a walk around video of it then to finish off this video. Um, and hopefully that will drop um, hopefully this weekend, but uh, we will see. And then, um, yeah, I really don't have much bad to say about it other than I've been driving in a car all day and no trailer lights. It was fun. But, so I'll uh, take a video tomorrow, uh, walk around to the vehicle, and then I think that'll end this, this vlog. Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, I've made it about 240 miles into this 250-mile road trip that I'm taking here. Uh, that's one way. I still got to get the other rig and then go home after this. But, uh, gosh, this pickup is doing great. Uh, this far exceeded my expectations of what I thought it was going to do today. Um, I got the fast fuel injection 454 under the hood. Uh, and then I've got the... Uh, it is the next morning and I am here to give you a little walk around of the new race rig um, this is what's gonna pull my race trailer which uh, you can kind of see in the background here it is the 24 foot black enclosed trailer that's my race trailer um, so anyway this is my new rig uh, it is uh, 2011 Ford F-250, 6.7 power stroke diesel, uh, crew cab, long box, two-wheel drive. I usually don't buy the four-wheel drive stuff. Um, I don't drive a pickup very much in the winter. I normally just drive my Ford Focus over there. Um, and it doesn't do great. It doesn't, it's not spectacular, but it does work. Uh, so here's the pick up just a quick walk around I can go ahead and show the defects here in a minute it's not pretty it's not perfect uh, it's not a showpiece but um, it's gonna pull that trailer fantastically and that is what I bought it for that is what I bought the thing for um, so it was a Texas pickup uh, I believe probably an oil field deal uh, it was fleet owned uh, the numbers were on it somebody took them off Six seven power stroke diesel there, and um, it's an XL model. It's got vinyl seats. It's got vinyl floors. It does have power windows and power locks, power mirrors. Um, it does have the factory brake controller and factory upfitter switches. It's got the factory locking differential, um, and it is crew cab, which is nice. I don't generally go for the crew cabs either, uh, but the price was right on this one and I had to jump on it. I think the extra room will be nice. I got my tools sitting back there already. Um, now being an XL, it's not a complete base model because it does have power locks, power windows, and the, the brake package, or the, the tow package, I mean, with the factory brake controller. Air conditioning all works. I mean, uh, it's it cruise works. It, it's, a, it's a decent rig. It's going to pull my trailer just fine, and it's going to be a heck of a lot more comfortable to sit in for hours on end than my uh, old Chevy would would ever be. Um, I got some junk in the box, um, but anyway, he gave me a new tailgate for it. I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, this side is pretty good. Um, 
so really small ding there scratch there scratch there big deal you know scratch there it, it, it's not a beauty queen I don't really care this is the tow rig right um, it's got a banged up bumper I wish I would have noticed that first because he had other bumpers there that I could have gotten um, so this is a tailgate Ford emblems all screwed up and it's got some bangs down there but that's why I got the new one now the new one is still used it's still a little beat up but it's beat up a lot less than this guy is so I'll take it uh, it is a gas tailgate as you can see the flex fuel badge there in the corner but that's easily remedied I can fix that no problem okay so we got a little ding here on this side and then uh, some more dings right here you know it's uh, it is what it is but it's it's really not bad um, this mirror is all screwed up somebody did hit it it's, I mean honestly it's fine but he did give me a new a new used mirror with it so I'll throw that on sometime get that taken care of so anyway um, it's not really what I was expecting because you know it was just like it's just beat it's, it's dirty um, it was a fleet pickup so whoever was driving it worked for the company they don't care to keep keep it clean or keep it taken care of you know they don't they don't really take care of that stuff but as far as the pickup truck goes it's a good pickup truck it's gonna pull the trailer just fine that's what I bought it for um, and it, you know it is it is what it is um, this thing was dirt cheap um, it's dirt cheap uh, seven thousand eight hundred dollars is what I had to give for this thing um, and as far as I can tell that's got to be the cheapest Ford 67 power stroke on the internet um, I can't really I was looking for a long time and I couldn't find one cheaper and it just so happened that this one was only 250 miles from me so I hopped in my old beater Chevy open trailer went and picked it up um, there was a little fussing around to do once I got there um, but it is what it is I gotta go change the title over today I'm gonna go to the DMV after I finish recording here change the title over put insurance on it and then uh, can get to towing the big trailer over there go to some races uh, anyway I think that's all I got for you right now um, I got some more stuff coming later today on a different video for my Chevy hopefully that comes out I don't know maybe early next week we'll see what happens but some very very exciting news with that so I think with that I'll end it off there and we will see you later thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel I appreciate it we'll see you later guys